click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see what do you mean by number system and what are the various popular number system that used in the digital electronic circuit. So let's begin with the topic. So we know that numbers are basically used for counting purpose. So number systems are nothing but the system which is used for counting the various items. In case of modern communication system, the binary numbers are basically used for communication purpose. We human uses decimal system for counting the various items or decimal system which ranges from 0 to 9. Now, but in case of digital system, we cannot use values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, we need to convert this value into certain form which can be understood by the machine or a computer. That's why the various number systems comes into picture. We know that, for example, if we consider decimal 8 in decimal system, so the same number in binary digit can be represented, that means the same number in 1, 0 form can be represented as. So from this we come to know that if the decimal number having only one term, but the digital number or the binary number system consists of more than one term. Binary numbers or the other number systems are those number system which can easily get understood by the computers or by any other digital electronic circuits. There are certain number of systems which are very much popular in communication of digital systems and they are first is decimal number system second is most popular that is binary number system Third is octal number system and fourth is hexadecimal number system. Now these systems varies on the basis of the base or a radix of the number. The base or radix of the number if it is r then the total number present in the system having range from 0 to r. For example if the base is If base or radix is r, then the range becomes 0 to r minus 1. So it indicates that the total number present in that system becomes r. For example, if base or radix is equal to 8, so the range becomes 0 to r minus 1 which is equal to 0 to 7. So the total numbers present in the system having base of 8 becomes 8. Therefore total number becomes 8. Similarly for hexadecimal if the number if the base is r then the total number varies from range 0 to 15 but the total numbers present in that system becomes 16. Now let's see the various number system one by one. So first consider decimal system. The decimal number system are those number system which are used by human for counting the various items. In the base decimal number system, the base or radix value is equal to 10. So, in decimal number system, the range is from 0 to 9. And total numbers present in the system becomes 10. Now, the decimal number system having two parts which are get separated by using a decimal point. That part which is present on left hand side of the decimal point is called as integer part whereas the part which is present on right hand side of the decimal point is called as fraction part. So the part which is on left hand side is called as integer or decimal part. And the part which is right hand side is called as fractional part. And the parts are get separated by using a decimal point. Now let's take the example of decimal number. 
Now in this number, the decimal point is used for differentiating two part. 153 is considered as integer part, whereas 01 is considered as fractional part. Each part in the decimal system having some specific weight and the weight becomes the integer part having specific weight in terms of 10 raised to 0, 10 raised to 1, 10 raised to 2, 10 raised to 3 and so on. Whereas the fractional part having specific weight in terms of 10 raised to minus 1, 10 raised to minus 2, 10 raised to minus 3 and so on. So let's take example. Now in this example, 153 having a specific weight of 1 into 10 raised to 2 plus 5 into 10 raised to 1 plus 3 into 10 raised to 0. If we add up this then we will get an integer part that is nothing but 153 whereas whereas in case of fractional part as it is 0 1 so they have a weight of 0 into 10 raised to minus 1 plus 1 into 10 raised to minus 2. So if we add up this number then we will get the value 0 1. So the decimal number system having a base of 10 and we can say each point or each term in the system having power of 10. Now let's move to the another number system that is nothing but binary number system. Now the binary number system are those number systems which are most commonly used in case of digital circuits or digital communication purpose. The binary number system having base or radix equals to 2. So the range is from 0 to 1. That means it consists of only two numbers in this system which are nothing but zeros and one as we have already seen the decimal eight is represented in the form of zero one zero one zero zero that means only zero and one can be used for representation of the binary system now the binary point is basically used to differentiate between integer part and fractional part The part which is present on right hand side of binary point is called as fractional part whereas the part which is present on left hand side is called as integer part. Similar to decimal system here also each term in the binary system having specific weight. Now let's take the example of binary system. So now here the binary point is used to differentiate between fractional part and integer part. So here in case of integer part they having a specific weight in terms of 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2. Here we are considering 2 instead of 10 because here the radix value is 2 and not 10. So if we consider integer part then 1001 can be represented as 1 into 2 raised to 3 plus 0 into 2 raised to 2 plus 0 into 2 raised to 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to 0. So if we add up this part we will get the same number. Now in case of fraction fractional part is present on right hand side of the binary point and it is 0 0 1 so in terms of base it is given as 0 into 2 raised to minus 1 plus 0 into 2 raised to minus 2 plus 1 into 2 raised to minus 3 so this is how the binary number system can be represented in case of binary number system if we write a number in terms of ones and zeros that means for example then the term which is present on right hand side is called as LSB that is least significant weight and the term which is present on left hand side is called as MSB that is most significant weight and we can number them as D0 to D7. Now let's see the next system that is nothing but octal number system.
Now, as we have seen, in case of decimal system, the base value is 10. In case of binary number system, the base value is 2. So, in case of octal number system, as its name indicates, the base value is 8. So, if the number having base or radix equals to 8, then the system is called as octal number system. In case of octal number system, as the base is 8, therefore the signal or the total numbers present in the system becomes 0 to 7. So, in case of octal number system, the octal point is used to differentiate between integer part and fractional part. Same as this binary system, the part which is present on right hand side is called as fractional part and the part which is present on left hand side of the octal point is called as integer part. So, in case of octal system, octal point is used to differentiate between fractional part which is present on right hand side and integer part which is present on left hand side. Now let's take the example of octal number system. So here the octal point differentiates integer and fractional part. Every integer and fractional part having a specific weight but in terms of power of 8 that means 8 raised to 0, 8 raised to 1, 8 raised to 2, 8 raised to 3 and so on. So for integer part 1539 can be mathematically represented as 1 into 8 raised to 3 plus 5 into 8 raised to 2 plus 3 into 8 raised to 1 plus 9 into 8 raised to 0 whereas the fractional part is represented as 281 which is 2 into 8 raised to minus 1 plus 8 into 8 raised to minus 2 plus 1 into 8 raised to minus 3 and so on. Now the next system that is very much popular in case of digital communication is nothing but hexadecimal system. So in case of hexadecimal system the base or radix value becomes 16 so the range is from 0 to 15 and the total numbers present in the hexadecimal system becomes 16. So the base value is 16 and range is from 0 to 15. So in case of hexadecimal system the 0 to 9 are represented by digits and the remaining term that means 10 to 15 get represented by a characters. So the number 10 is represented by A, 11 is get represented by B, 12 represents by C, 13 represented by D, 14 represented by E and 15 is represented by F. So rather than 0 to 15 we can say the range is from 0 to F. So hexadecimal system consists of total 16 numbers out of which 9s are get represented by digits and the remaining numbers get represented by characters or alphabets. Here also the decimal point is used to differentiate between fractional part and integer part. The numbers which are present on right hand side represent fractional part and the numbers which are present on left hand side represents integer part. Now let's take the example of hexadecimal number system. So whenever we represent a number in hexadecimal system, it includes some characters which range from A to F. So here the decimal point differentiate fractional and integer part and mathematically it is represented as 1058 is nothing but 1 into 16 raised to 3. Now here as base is 16, therefore we are using power of 16 plus 0 into 16 raised to 2 plus 5 into 16 raised to 1 plus 8 into 16 raised to 0 
and the fractional part is represented by 2a3 which is equals to 2 into 16 raised to minus 1 plus a into 16 raised to minus 2 plus 3 into 16 raised to minus 3 which is equal to 2 into 16 raised to minus 1 plus now a is represented by 10 into 16 raised to minus 2 plus 3 into 16 raised to minus 3. So this is how the hexadecimal system represented mathematically. So these are the few number system which are very much popular in case of digital communication system or digital systems. And they are decimal number system, hexadecimal number system, binary number system and octal number system. Every number system is can be converted into another number system by using certain logic or certain operations. So in summarize, the decimal number system having a base or radix equals to 10, so range is from 0 to 9. Hexadecimal number system having base or radix equals to 16, so range is from 0 to 15. Out of that 0 to 9 represented by digit and the remaining that means 10 to 15 are represented by letters that means A to F. The octal number system having base or radix equals to 8 and therefore range is from 0 to 7. Whereas the binary number system having base or radix equals to 2, so range is from 0 to 1. So this is what about the number system and the various number systems that are used in the digital communication system. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.